core memories growing up was after watching the Tinkerbell movie, going online and playing that Pixie Hollow game. You know the one. And we are a big fan of nostalgia over here on the Ryo Sim channel. So today, by popular demand, we are going to be decorating dorm rooms, but every room is a different Pixie Hollow fairy. In The Sims 4, obviously. Welcome, welcome. We are here at Pixie Hollow University. We have five dorms here and five fairies to make dorms for, so let's just get right into it. Starting off with who else but Miss Tinkerbell. Like always, we have the wiki pulled up as well as a little Pinterest board. From her wiki, I'm seeing that she likes tinkering. She likes fixing things. So maybe we can give her like a workbench. And then the couple of other things here are just like her friends, adventures, and fruit. Nothing really that we can, I guess, add into the room. With her Pinterest board here, obviously Tinkerbell loves the color green. I'm seeing lots of flowers. Maybe we could incorporate something to do with these little like pom-poms that she has on on her feet. But with all this information, let's just get started on Tinkerbell's room. Obviously for the wallpapers, we're gonna go with green. I tried to use this last video for Tiana's room, but why do I feel like this is perfect for Tinkerbell's room? Tell me that doesn't match the vibe of her Pinterest board here. Got some windows in. Now I'm thinking we do like a, a wood floor, maybe something like this. Does that look bad? I feel like it kind of does. I feel like that doesn't look too bad and it still keeps with that like wood texture that I was looking for. I feel like these curtains kind of bring in those pom-poms like I was talking about and green beds. You guys know that we have no shortage of green beds around here. We've got our tried and true cottage living green bed. We also could do something like this with this like wood. Why not? I feel like it's very Tinkerbell coded and we do the cottage living bed like literally every video and I'm sure we'll do it this video but maybe we'll try something new. I feel like Tink would love this little bedside table here and I feel like it looks like something that maybe she could have created and you know we got to add the club door and I have the perfect rug in mine. This little grass one. I feel like it would be even better if we made it bigger. Maybe in this corner we could give Tink a little workstation since she obviously loves tinkering. I feel like the woodworking table might be a good idea and I'm gonna put a little chair next to it just because I feel like it's accurate that like maybe she would want to sit down at some point. Let's also give Tinkerbell a little hangout spot. I'm thinking maybe in this corner here we can add this little picture frame TV and a couch of some sort. Ooh, this couch is very Tinkerbell colors. Maybe we sneak in a little fireplace. Now that that's there, I'm not loving how far back this is. So I think I'm going to give her a regular TV and raise it up. Perfect. I feel like Tinkerbell would also be into books. So I feel like we should throw some bookshelves up on this wall over here. Can't tell if this looks weird or not. I feel like it doesn't. I'm going to leave it. What else could we give Tinkerbell? Maybe just a desk. Now I think this room just needs some clutter. If I'm honest, I think I went a little crazy on the clutter. Butter. But here is Tinkerbell's room all complete. Let me know in the comments if you think Tinkerbell would approve. Moving on to our next dorm room. Going in alphabetical order, our next room is going to be for Fawn. Reading Fawn's wiki here, it says that she is a animal fairy. So she really loves animals. Her power has all to do with animals and not much else, honestly. But definitely gonna add in a ton of animal stuff into her room. She's got all the pets etc. And I love her Pinterest board. It's giving autumn. I love this. We don't normally do orange rooms, so I'm excited to do a fall themed room, but let's just get right into it. So excited to do an orange room. We like never do orange rooms. Oh, I see why we don't normally do orange rooms. We have like zero orange wallpaper. Awesome. This is kind of like the best one that we have, but no. Maybe we just go for like a normal color without any decoration on it. Yeah, this really is the best that we got. For her floors. I'm going to do this cottage living brown floor. All right. I want to switch up the layout of this room and put our bed on this side. Maybe we could bring in more of that burnt orange color with the curtains. We really have such crappy shades for orange. Orange is kind of like my least favorite color though, to be honest, but I think it can be pretty. So maybe it's everyone else's least favorite color. We could do this bed. The quilt kind of gives me like fall vibes. We also have this one, which does go with her color palette. Maybe I go with this one. I feel like we have not use this bed before. It also has a quilt, so I'm going to give her a dresser right off the bat because I almost forgot to give Tinkerbell one. I think that's cute. And before we add anything else, I think we should work on getting her some pet stuff. I want to give her like a hedgehog. What do we think? I wish that the tubing could change color. It cannot, but I kind of like it. I feel like we should keep it. My Sims always have ham 
hamster is. If you have my first pet stuff, let me know which one of these animals your Sims normally has. And maybe in front of it, we'll put two feeders. You're probably not allowed to bring animals with you to college, but we'll make an exception. And up here, we could put a little cat bed as well as a little cat resting thing here. What is this cat tree? Question mark. And we could just sneak a little litter box right here. Now let's give her some stuff for her. Little mounted TV. We could do this. Yeah, why not? I like that couch. We can add that. So over here, maybe we can give her a little desk. Yeah, this desk looks pretty cute. Off camera, I did some cluttering and I think it's safe to say that we're all done with Fawn's dorm room. Moving on to our third dorm room. Continuing alphabetical order, we're going to be doing Rosetta next, my personal favorite. Rosetta is a garden fairy. She likes fashion, growing flowers, giving beauty tips, and makeovers. So we're definitely going to add all of that into her room. Her vibe is kind of similar to Laura from The Wing. With all this information, let's get started on the room. The wiki here is giving like a very light pink, but her outfit is quite dark. So maybe I want to go for more of a dark pink with the wallpaper. I think I want to try to do this pink and still kind of make it look cottagey and gardeny. I'm going to use this cottage living floor. Maybe we'll give her some light pink or maybe even green curtains. Oh, these would be kind of perfect. They do block out a lot of the light, but they're just so perfect. That's my only complaint with these windows. I think the cottage living bed is going to be the right course of action with this room. I mean, there is just not a more perfect bed for Miss Rosetta. I think I'm going to give her a walk-in closet because it says that she's really into fashion. Oh, I like this big entryway. I feel like it's almost too big though. I think I'll go with this shorter one. Put a little light in here and the regular closet things. And we got to hang up some clothes. And I'm going to add these little light pink curtains as like the entrance to the closet. And let's give her a little hangout spot here. I like this little couch here. And of course we need a little carpet. These bedside tables from the horse pack have become my new favorite. Maybe a vanity since it says that she likes makeovers. A little mushroom seat another mirror here wouldn't hurt. I think it's absolutely crazy how much clutter can transform a room. But here is Rosetta's room. I honestly think it's my favorite so far. Moving on to our next dorm room. Next, we are going to be doing Silver Mist. For Silver Mist's room, obviously she is a water fairy, so we're going to be adding lots of blue. I'm seeing lots of like blue flowers. Also, her name is kind of strange in my opinion. Like why didn't they just name her like Silver? Because the rest of the girls have like one name. It's like Tinkerbell. Well, I guess I just proved myself wrong. Anyways, <laughs> she doesn't seem to have too many hobbies. Uh, it says that her likes are following her heart, taking baths, seeing water running by in a stream, water skating, and giving advice to others. So I guess we'll see what type of water stuff we can add in this room. How many times can I say water? Let's get started on this room. Obviously, to start, let's get us some blue wallpaper. We got this one. It's got a uh, water on it. Nah, I don't think so either. I like this wallpaper with the flowers on it. We could just do some white paint floors. Kind of wanting to go for a dark blue for the curtains. I feel like these curtains are pretty perfect, honestly. And we need a blue bed. This seems like her vibe, honestly. I'm also not loving the curtains anymore. I think it's just the green and the gold that's throwing it off for me. I feel like 90% of the time, my problem with the curtains is the color of the rod of the curtain. Like, why are they all gold? And also, why do they slot like this? Why do they have to be either up there or here? Why are those my only two options? I don't mind these curtains. I'm gonna do these little bedside tape. Tables. Give her this fun dresser as well as a mirror. But to get to this little makeshift vanity area by her dresser. And now let's move on to the rest of the room. What to add? What to add? Maybe a TV and a couch. Obviously, we need a blue couch. This couch is pretty cute. Would it be weird to add a turtle rug? I don't think so. How do I add in an element of water? We could add a fish tank. What else? We could add a second fish tank. I don't know about that one though. We use this one so much, so I kind of want to use a more compact one. Why can't there be one that's just right. This one's the best, I guess. You can have a little fish friend. I don't want to give her like a kiddie pool or anything because I think that's just going to look weird, honestly. So I think this aquarium just will have to do. Over here, we could throw a desk. I love this desk. I love that it has like blue staining on it. I think it is so, so pretty. Did a little cluttering off camera and I love how Silver Mist's room turned out. I feel like I did pretty well given the color palette and aesthetic, but you guys can let me know in the comments. Hello everyone, I'm here to quickly announce the winner of the giveaway. I have our wheel 
reveal here. Thank you so much to everyone who entered. Just to show you guys, today is Tuesday, December 5th. So that is when I'm rolling. So if you entered after that point, you will not be on this wheel. I'm so sorry, but here we go. We'll definitely do more giveaways in the future. Maybe when we hit 20K. All right, let's spin. I'm so excited. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? I'm not entirely sure how to say the name. I'm gonna try. Scold7995. This is their YouTube name. Let me go quickly find their comment. All right, I found their comment and it says, I love watching your videos. They truly make my day better. Thank you. I would love to get the cats and dogs expansion pack. Okay, perfect. One cats and dogs expansion pack coming up. Please check your Instagram DMs. Thank you again to everyone who entered and be on the lookout for future giveaways. Moving on to our last and final dorm room, which is going to be for Vidya. Vidya is a fast flying fairy. It has been a while since I have seen any of the Tinkerbell movies, so please forgive me. But I'm kind of getting the vibe that she's competitive and then like competitive to me, translates into like sports. So we're definitely going to add some sports elements into her room. I love her Pinterest board. This is going to be super easy because you know the Sims and they love their dark purples and blacks together. So let's just get started. I'm excited for this one. It's going to be a drastic contrast compared to the other girls. Obviously we got to look for some purple wallpaper. Now we could go with this, but I don't know. Is it too, is it giving too spooky? We could also just go with something like this. I love this wallpaper. I think it's so cool. I'm thinking we do just a uh, some black floors. I'm gonna put the bed on this wall here and let's grab her a purple bed. I don't mind this bed. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a dresser and a TV over top. Let's give her a gaming console as well and a purple couch. I actually think I wanna do a black couch instead. I think I'm just gonna go with this basic couch and I would like a purple rug. Cute, cute, cute. Let's put these two matching bookshelves together here because I feel like it just kind of fills up the space. Why don't we throw her a desk right in front of this window and a purple chair oh i forgot curtains oh these are perfect for her i'm also starting to think that i don't love this bed maybe just that color honestly and now i just think we need some clutter i finished all the cluttering in Vidya's room and i absolutely love the way it turned out also don't worry all the artwork you saw in this video will be linked in the description but with Vidya's room all done that means that we have completed our pixie hollow dorms i think my favorite is probably tinkerbell but let me know which one was your guys' favorite in the comments below. If you like this build, you can find it on the gallery under these hashtags. And if you're still watching all the way to the end of the video, I appreciate you. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff. Also comment down below if you think I should make the Pixie Hollow Fairies in Create a Sim. All my links are in the description below. And with that all being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye.